Hello everyone, and uh, you know, I thought I was going to be taking a break from this game after the uh, the end of the last series, but uh, of course, Tynan has to bring out Alpha 8 just a week later. Not that I'm complaining, I've been looking forward to this one to be honest with you. This is Alpha 8 of RimWorld, and we are going to create ourselves a new game. But the first thing we need to do is create a world for that game to be in, and in honor of the last one, the seed will be Tigress. Let's generate. And here's our world. So there's uh, plenty of different biomes. There's, uh, for example, Ice Sheet, which you can't grow on. You have Tundra, which has a, a short growing period and very, very, very cold winters. And to be honest with you, very, very cold summers as well. And again, you can't grow. Boreal forest with a a short growing period. Yeah, again, cool temperatures. We have deserts. We have um, temperate forest. We have tropical rainforest and uh, arid shrubland. Lots of different little biomes. Some near water. Some with mountains. Somebody pushing stuff through my letterbox. Thank you for that. Your timing is perfect. So, right, let's save and finish that. And with that world, we can now create a colony. And we'll stick with Cassandra Classic. We shall make it rough. Because I likes it rough, it does. When the storyteller sends threats after you, they will be 60% as large as in challenge mode. So, that will do us. And we shall use Nash El Samka, which is the world that we've just created. And where should we create our, our colony? And go. Let's go there. Now, that is 560 meters above sea level. It has an average temperature of 4.7 degrees centigrade. Its temperature in January is um, 13, minus 13.6 degrees. And its temperature in July, it goes up to a sizzling 22.9 centigrade. And, i well, to be honest with you, I wouldn't mind living there myself with those temperatures. It's boreal forest with mountains. It has a rainfall of 790 millimeters per year. The stone is limestone and sandstone. And it's only got a three month growing period, which is going to be quite stressful because in those three months we have to grow all the veg that we can use during that following year. So let's select that site. Have a look at our guys. So we have Clara Baron who was a frightened child. Clara grew up with a, a laundry list of phobias and neurosis. She feared, amongst other things, doctors and foodborne pathogens. As a result, she learned to cook and care for herself, but many of her fears dog her in her adulthood. So, right, bonuses of cooking and medicine, uh, but she can't firefight. I can live with that. And then, surprisingly enough, Clara became a chef. Clara ran a high-class midworld restaurant she was famous among patrons for her creative culinary specialities and infamous amongst kitchen workers for her casual display from her grunt work. So lots and lots of cooking there. A bit of social, that can be useful for us, but she can't clean, haul or plant cut. And i be honest with you, I can live with that. So, right, no cleaning, no scary and no dumb labour and she's trigger happy, which means that she's got a penalty to shooting and she's half of her accuracy uh, but she shoots twice as often so we'll see how that goes oh we have a cook as well All right emmy emily young emmy to her friends is a sex slave so emmy was vat grown as a slave in an illegal herb world laboratory as a young child she was taught only to cook clean and serve her masters for most of her childhood she used knew nothing else so she's got cooking She's lost artistic, uh, researching, and hunting. Emmy was sold into sexual slavery, having been designed to be inhumanly attractive and too weak to rebel against her masters. She was passed between dozens of owners and knew nothing of freedom. So more social, a little bit more cooking, and less artistic, researching and hunting disabled. But we got somebody here who has got nine social, which is very good to start off with. 10 cooking, which is not quite as good as Clara, who's got 12. Um, but she's got a burning passion for it, whereas Clara's only mildly passionate. 
though she might end up to be the cook. I don't know. We'll see. And Ben, who again is a cook, who started life as a fire bo farmer boy. Benjamin's parents died in a fire when he was seven. He grew up on his uncle's farm, playing fields and doing manual labour. He could not bear answering questions about his parents, so he replaced social contact with hard work. So this is giving us some much needed construction, growing and mining. There's a penalty of social, but he's got crafting. He can't warden, doctor or firefight, but I think that to start off with. And then Ben joined the army as a worker and spent most of his time cooking and repairing. While he was stationed on a dangerous planet, he underwent basic training, uh, shooting and survival training. So, right. There's an awful lot this guy can't do. But he's got good construction and good growing, so he's actually going to be quite useful to us in the starting of the game. So, we will keep him. He's too smart, which means he learns twice as fast, but he's got a lower mental break threshold. Let's see what happens with him. Oh. With fingers crossed, because this is actually the third time I've tried this, let's start the game and see how it goes. Fraps does not like this game. The three of you awake in your crypto-sleep sarcophagi to the sound of sirens and ripping metal. You barely get to escape, you barely get to the escape pods before the ship is torn apart. Some time later you land on this unknown world. As pieces of the shredded starship fall around you, you start making plans to survive. And that is precisely what we're going to do. Let's get these guys land. There we go. Alright, that's giving us some basic stuff. Alright, let's just grab all that basic uh, Oh, okay. Lots of silver, some food, metal, and wood. We're going to want all this stuff anyway. Alright, so there's dusting of snow on this marsh, which is really slow to walk through. And that's a shame because that would actually make a nice little starting area. Uh, never mind. So there is plenty of mountain here, which is good. And a nice big space there actually to move into with a geothermal generator, which is quite encouraging actually. There's muffalo, which is always good. There's plenty of food, so that's um ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum. let's put this stuff on the grab list. That will either work in or against our favour. We are probably going to have to put a road across this at some point because that's going to be that marsh is going to be very slow to move across. Grab this as well because it's nearby. Yes, I think that is going to be the location of our new home. These ones have got um, marsh in them, so they're going to be hard to work on. And this side is not inspiring me quite as much, to be honest with you. So that that is plasteel. That is the new material in the game, and it's good to know that there's some of that in this world because my test world of Alpha Seven, I could not find some any of it for looking. Is there any around here? Uh, no. That's shallow water. That's deep water. So we are going to have to cross over that marsh to get to the plus still, but we don't need that in the start and game, so that's not really a problem for me. Right, let's uh, start thinking about our world, shall we? Um, okay. Plenty of wood here, which is a good start. Plenty of stone, which is also good. Um, a geothermal generator there. And I think the first thing we want to do here is just get some walls up because if you look here that temperature is 8 degrees centigrade and it's just going to get colder so that's without further ado let's just build a wall a, a room basically so let's have a wood door we put it there and we shall build wood walls around it So there's our start, just a starting room, and then we can put some beds down in there, and uh, 
Um, we can warm that up so that the geese guys don't get frostbite. And the other thing we want to do is start putting some storage space down. So let's get some zones up. And we'll have a growing zone. Put the growing zone up here because it's mostly clear. We're going to want a nice big one, unfortunately. Because... Uh, we need to get a lot of food created this time around. We're going to be hunting for most of the year as well, I should imagine. So let's just clear the plants out of there as well, because we don't want those trees in the way. And let's make a stockpile as well. So, ordinary stockpile, and let's just put it in the middle here. Uh, we should leave that as an ordinary stockpile, and just put it the other side of this. Actually, given the fact all the stones are there, Put it there for now, and there's our dump. Also, orders, up plants, get these ones cleared out. The opportunity, All right? That's that. And before we move on, let's have a look at our people. Take off put on manual priorities. All right, we only have one firefighter, which is a little bit worrying. And yeah. You, Clara, are going to be our doctor. And everybody is going to prioritise on top of that being a patient. And Emmy will be our warden. We don't need a second warden. Don't particularly like the doctor and the cook to be the same person, but it looks like at this point it's going to have to be, because I don't particularly like the doctor and the warden being the same person either, but... Uh, we can live with that. Okay, Ben, you are a hunter. You are a constructor. And everybody does repairing. Can't have you doing hunting and growing. I think what I will do here is I will make that your number two task. And that's your number two task. Researching you can do when you finish that. And any art of crafting were left over. Likewise for you. And you shall be our good finer by the looks of it. Okay, and everything else apart from the things I only like one person in, which will give you guys a 4-4. Four -four. So that should keep you guys working all the time. Okay, so Ben, you're our cook. Uh, sorry, Ben, you are a hunter. Clara, you're our cook. Doctor and Emmy, you are our warden. And I think we can get another task in for you, actually. Um, no, we're going to leave that like that. Okay, uh, going back to you guys. Mm -hmm. It seems to be a little bit buggy there. There we go. Alright, unless I was doing it wrong, possibly. Get that stuff accepted. Alright, so Ben, as a huntsman, you can have the rifle. Our, uh, let's have a quick look at your character. So you have shooting of one. Emmy, you have a shooting of nothing, but then again a melee of nothing as well, so equip the knife. And Clara, you can have the pistol. There we go. Alright, and that's that you guys to work. That's silver ore. Right, interesting. Good, we have somebody starting with the building. That's going to be very important to us soon. Plenty of wood there. Oh, I say plenty of wood there, then they have to walk all the way over there to get some. This is going to be very important to us because you can see that the temperatures are a bit chilly. And now we've got that, let's actually um, build in there. Okay, we can build a cooler, we can build a heater, we can build a campfire. And of that lot, the campfire is the cheaper one. So we shall build 
the campfire and uh, stick it in that corner. Um, get that tree taken down while we're at it. And while we're thinking about it, we shall just put some temporary beds in there. So there we go. They now have, uh, once that campfire is built, a warmer area, which is going to help them avoid frostbite. And they started planting, which is excellent. Getting this in. Oh, bunnies. And I think, actually, let's kind of let these guys go with that for a little bit. And then once that's done, we'll start looking at other bits and pieces they can do. Because they should get that done tomorrow by the looks of it. Let's have a quick look and see what they're thinking. Thoughts. You calling optimism? Social chats? Naked? Oh dear. So Clara's got her bits hanging out. And um, Emmy. Yeah, not too happy at the moment. So it's uh, we have to make them a bit of a better environment, but. The important thing here is they're getting that stuff planted and I think what I'm going to do now actually is I'm going to get some hunting orders put in but I don't want the hunting done around this area I actually want it done elsewhere in fact I'll tell you what we'll hunt there we go. oh you are not a good shot are you but that gives us a bit of meat. We dump that. So we got resources. We've got plenty of wood. Not much of anything else. So the first thing we need to do here, I think, is to uh, start uh, building this this house out a little bit. So this I think the first thing we need to put in here is not in there anymore um, we have to research geothermal I think we possibly have to research geothermal let's have a quick look at the researching uh, hydroponics cryptoseed casket electric smelting machining cremation hospital beds pneumatic picks building basics Possibly we need to research something. I'm not seeing something obvious there. Um, possibly, let's have a quick look through these, see if we can find it's been moved somewhere else. Oh, it definitely hasn't. Wind turbines are there, which is a, a good start. They're new. Right, okay, we will not worry about that just yet. Um, what I think I want to do here is I want to just build some structure around here and we'll mine this area out a little bit. I'm thinking we will have utility stuff down here and we will build our, our, our personal environment up here and fairly soon we'll start um, lopping this off, this area off and uh, Getting people uh, um, putting down some defences and things like that. Uh, okay, so right, let's start off. Build ourselves another room quickly, and this room is going to be. Yeah, I can build it like that. This room is going to be our um, utility room to start off with. So stick a door on that. The fire's gone out, that's no interesting to know. And uh, orders mine. Mine it out to there. And then we can start putting the cooking stuff in there. And after that we will look at getting some basic bedrooms put up as well. Once those are out, we can start putting some researching, some communication stuff in, and start moving that on as well. Have plenty of food growing there. 
And it looks like it still grows as fast as it did, but we're just going to need storage space by the looks of it. That's not necessarily a problem, and it's going to be an interesting challenge, I would say. Okay. So let's get some stuff hauled. visiting the colony that's it Amy if you could just do that last little bit for us okay let's uh, do let's make some plans here and then I think we're going to call it an episode so the first thing I want to do is I want to build a wind turbine just to see if nothing else to see what they're like and here does seem like a good place to do it doesn't it so we shall build it there and we shall run power just through a simple power conduit like that through the door and then anything we want powered in here can come off of that door which the first thing we shall do actually is get a standing lamp put it in there we're going to want um, cooking and butcher's tables So we shall have a butcher's table, we shall have a cook stove, like that. We're going to need a storage zone for food. Seems like a good, good place to do it, doesn't it? And that storage, don't want rotten. We want foods. We don't want items, we don't want weapons, we don't want apparel, we don't want body parts. And we do want corpses, we don't want buried corpses, we don't want human corpses, but we don't want animal corpses. So those will take those. Oh, clear all. That's the one, that's good. And because of that, this stockpile, we don't want it to take animal corpses. I'll get those in, and finally for that room, we shall have... A small table. We'll stick with the wood because we've got plenty of it. Stick it there for now and some little benches like that. We'll expand on that later on as we need to, but that will be good enough for our colony as is. So, right. Not a bad start. Got a lot of food growing. We've got some various stuff gathered up. Uh, we found resources all over the map, many of which are going to be useful quite soon. Uh, it's limestone. And I think I'm going to leave it there. Okay, this has been RimWorld Alpha 8. Lots and lots of things have changed. I have been Simon Parsons. Thank you and good night. Oh, yes, one more thing. Don't forget to vote for Wednesday Livestream. Night night.